Red Voyage News, Splash in the check-in. Thank you for tuning in. And before I get into this article right here, let me take some time out to promote my Buy Me a Coffee page. If you appreciate the channel and you want to support, then you don't have to become a member in order to donate to this channel. You can go to my Buy Me a Coffee page, International Hawk. Link is in the description box below. And you can donate whatever dollar amount you feel. If you would like to know what it's like to travel abroad, how foreigners are treated, what's like life like living in Asia, then you can sign up to become a member. It's only $8 a month. All right. I had three videos posted up, but I guess I accidentally deleted two. So I posted up a new video yesterday. I'm about to post up a new one today. All right. Link is in the description box below. I live overseas, so they don't allow people to have cash app overseas. That's only for people that live in America. So if you would like to support the channel, go to my uh, buy me a coffee page. Link is in the description box below. Let's get into this article right here. So lifeguard 17 years old stabbed and beaten for telling group to stop partying. And, um, you know, I talked about this in some of my previous videos. I said stuff like this is going to happen more. This happened in Worcester, Massachusetts. I, I believe that's how you pronounce that city. Uh, the victim was on duty at Bell Pond in Worcester around 6.30 p.m. Sunday when he told the men that drinking alcohol and smoking were not allowed at the park and that they would have to leave if they didn't stop. So basically, he was just doing his job. You know, um, enforcing the rules, reminding people the rules. Saw a couple of people who were like 22 years of age in the early 20s, smoking, drinking. Said, hey, that's not allowed here. And, you know, you got to throw that away. If you don't throw that away, I'm going to have to ask you guys to leave. Now, you're talking to people in the early 20s, post pandemic. Who have fragile egos that can't understand, OK, he's just doing his job. If we want to continue smoking and drinking, we could take this elsewhere. And, you know, once we're done, then we can come back and enjoy ourselves. No. People of today, I mean, we, we've seen this a lot. This isn't anything new, but you're starting to see more stories just like this. Where people are shooting up the McDonald's, people are shooting up the Burger King. People are using racial slurs at donut shops when the order is, is you know, the order isn't right. Now you have people stabbing teenagers on the job for enforcing the rules. And I Googled one of the suspects here. The three suspects were later arrested in the incident, including Celestine Bigrimimana, who was charged with assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, disturbing the peace, disorderly conduct, and trespassing and resisting arrest after a foot chase. This is Celestine right here. All right. Obviously, he's an immigrant. So a lot of people, they want to put this on uh, blacks in general, blacks as a whole. And I'm telling you right now, foundational black Americans have separated themselves from Africans and Caribbean people. All right. We've separated ourselves from immigrants. Just like how when you go to Europe and you're in Germany, but you talk about people from France. And you accuse Germans of doing the same thing. A German is going to check you and say, hey, don't. I mean, I'm not French. I'm not from France. All right. That's what they do. Don't lump me in with them. Same thing when you come out to Asia. When you go up to a group of Japanese people and point the finger at them for something that people from mainland China has done, they're going to say, hey, those are Chinese people. We're not Chinese. We're Japanese, even though they're Asian. Two different, to, two totally different nationalities, but people who have melanin, dark skin melanin, were the only ones that get lumped in together with the stupid shit that they do. No, this is an immigrant problem. This is an African Caribbean problem. He may look like me, but he's not from where I'm from. That's not what we, I mean, sure. Does this happen amongst foundational black Americans? Absolutely. But just looking at this name, Muhammad Abdulli, Abdulali, 
the two others, 19 year old, this guy and unnamed 17 year old were hit with the assault and battery and disturbing the peace charges as well. A fourth person was arrested at the scene, but later released without being charged. I want to tell you, get, excuse me. I want to tell you guys this right now. Whenever you're out and about, be careful out here on this pandemic because people's, I got, excuse me, people's, I can't even talk. People's egos right now are very fragile. And just by simply enforcing the rules, telling them to wear their mask or don't smoke over here, don't drink over here. You can't be over here. You can be on the other side, but you can't be over here. You might get stabbed. You might get shot. You might even lose your life. But on the flip side of that, let me play the devil's advocate. What was the race of the lifeguard? What did he say to them? What, what, what did he say to Celestine or C- Celest- how, how do you say his name? What did he say to this man right here? Did he, re- did he approach him with respect as a man and say, hey, you can't drink and smoke over here if you do so. If you continue to do so, I'm going to have to notify the, the authorities and I'm going to have to remove you from this area over here. Did he ask him politely to throw that away? Like, hey, sir, you can't drink and smoke over here, please. It's against the rules. Or did he come at him with aggression? Did he racially attack him? I'm just playing the devil's advocate. I could be wrong. I just want to know. Some people might say it doesn't matter. He was 17 years old. You know, he's a minor. It doesn't matter. There are 17 years old people that are 17 out here that are well capable of being assholes, being aggressive, you know, committing crime, you know, being aggressive and, 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 and being violent towards others for no reason as well. So I don't have all the information here on this article. You know, I wish I knew exactly what happened. I want to hear from both sides, but you can only go by the story that's being presented to you. All right. So what do you think in the comment section below? Like, subscribe, comment, share this video. I'm over and I'm out. Donate to the buy me a coffee page. I'm out. Peace.